fire or agni the rigveda describes the lord of fire or agni to be the king of all men fire can never be polluted and that is why our civilization believe that any prayer offered to the fire lord will be taken directly to the gods and hence a mediator between us and the gods that is why till date we have rituals where we perform prayers to the fire lord such as the homa but did you know that the homa kunda or the altars for these rituals need to have precise measurements how do you think the early men or the ancient indians ensured the preciseness and uniformness of these measurements well that's when we had some of the most brilliant and first mathematical minds in india baudhayan was one of the first brilliant minds of mathematics in india Baudhayan existed around 800 BCE which is 3000 years ago. Baudhayan was a very renowned priest and belonged to the Yajurveda school and thus was interested in Vedic rituals. He initially had a lot of difficulty while constructing altars for fire rituals which were circular, triangular, rectangular and square in shape. and ended up writing rules of geometry and rules on as to how to measure and construct various shapes baudhayan wrote many works which dealt with many topics namely six for example the shrauta sutra deals with vedic rituals and the grahya sutra deals with domestic rituals however we are going to talk about the baudhayan sulpa sutra which contains rules of geometry Like I said the demand of this time is that altars need to be constructed which are uniform priests were puzzled as to how to construct them with such precise measurements and that is when Baudhayan offered his help and gave rules for the construction and the measurement of these shapes now the first uh, obstacle that Baudhayan encountered was while constructing a circle altar Now perimeter and radius was realized by Baudhayan while constructing circular altars however we credit the discovery of perimeter and radius to Archimedes who came in around 287 BCE that is 600 years after Baudhayan and 600 years before Archimedes Baudhayan had already found the value of pi to be 3 and sometimes even equated to be 3.114 he further gave us the method of constructing altars using the radius using the perimeter and using the very approximate value of pi to be 3 now how would he do this well this is where it gets interesting so baudhayan came up with methods of constructing various shape by using a thread something really similar to what we use today a compass even today we can see some of the priests who have, who use threads to construct these altars and various shapes baudhayan even helped at construction of trapezium shaped altars using just a single thread the next task for baudhayan was when he wanted to create square altars with circular base or circular altars with a square base and that is when he came up with the rules of constructing circles that circumscribe squares and vice versa that is when he realized that the area of the square and area of the circle are proportional to each other and he was able to come up with rules where he was able to construct squares with the same size as that of the circle or circles with the same area as that of the square now isn't this interesting considering that we had this knowledge 3000 years ago for baudhayan went on to write many more rules regarding polygons such as rectangles squares etc this particular shloka from the sulbha sutra is quite interesting because although it was written 3000 years ago it estimates the square root of 2 to be 1.41421586 
which is quite accurate. Once while constructing an altar in the shape of a square, within a square, he realized that the inner square is exactly half of that of the outer square and eventually this led to this shloka. This is called Baudhayan theorem. Later, the same theorem was given by a scholar called Pythagoras at least 200 years after Baudhayan and came to be known as the Pythagoras theorem. In this video, we saw about Baudhayan Silver Sutras, but in actuality, Silver Sutra is a compilation of works by four scholars Baudhayan, Apastam, Manav, and Katyayan. Sulbha means thread and Sulbha Sutra is a text of rituals but eventually talks about mathematical concepts. We know what Baudhai and Sulbha Sutra can do. Upper stump arrived at Pythagoras triplets. Manav describes Pi and Kathyayan also talks about Pythagoras theory. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Uttishta Bharata. Namaste and Jai Hind.